If you have a question, go ahead and press the raise hand button. We'll start with Nolan. Patricio, congrats on the win, man. Uh, you told me when we, when we talked the other day that you, you felt that the odds were disrespectful for this fight, but you just went in there and, and finished your opponent pretty quickly. Um, safe to say that that was even exceeded your expectations? Ah, uh, I think Gopi conectado no queixo é, tira todas as expectativas. Pedro é um lutador muito bom, é um cara completo apesar de ser novo. Ele destruiu muitos caras muito rápido aqui no Balaton, então a gente não pode menos prosar ele mesmo depois desse desfecho rápido. Uh, I believe that once my hand touches the chin, it took away all the expectations. Uh, Pedro Carvalho is a, is a good fighter. He's ran through a lot of fighters here in Bellator, but once my hands touch, it, it takes away all hope. And how satisfying is that victory coming off such a long layoff, the pandemic, not knowing when you would get to be able to compete in the United States? I mean, it must be a, just a relief to step in there to get the win like that, too. Ah, muito bom. Eu, eu tô desde o ano passado treinando para a luta porque a, a primeira luta ia sair em março. Então, é, muito treinamento duro e agora eu tenho que aproveitar um pouco minha família. Mas é, quando o Bato quiser voltar com essa próxima luta, eu tô bem, não me machuquei. Tá é isso. I, I, I feel great. Finally, I got the fight. Um, uh, now, I've been waiting for to spend some time with my family. That's what I'll do. But we're just waiting for that date for the for this next fight. As hopefully as soon as possible. I'm ready. And you know, looking at the response online, I feel like you got a lot of respect out of this win. Um, where do you think you fall? Do you think you're the best fighter, the best pound for pound fighter to ever have competed in Bellator? Because that seems like what a lot of people are saying now. I'm not the best uh, featherweight in Bellator. I'm the best featherweight in the world. So no, no, no one, no other uh, featherweight has my hands. Like you know, I'm complete. Today I have uh, 11 finalizations and 11 knockouts. So it's muito quase impossível ver um um peso pena com esses recordes que eu tenho. Now I have 11 knockouts and 11 submissions. So there's no other featherweight in the world that has. That is as, as complete as I am. Um, I don't. I don't know how much uh, you watched of the, how much you were preparing for your own fight in the back, or how much you watched Emmanuel's fight against Vikel. Uh, did you watch it? And, and if so, what did you think of Emmanuel's performance? Yes, I saw. All, I watched the all fight. I, I was well, up to, to my to my fight. So. Sanchez was he was looking good. He was very dynamic. I like his style, like I said in the cage, but I am better than him. He knew that. And do you feel like he's improved since the first time you guys fought? Yes, uh, he, he looks like more, more comfortable fighting. Does, does that excite you to, to know that you have a big challenge awaiting you? Oh, yes. In the first fight, I had a lot of problems during the fight, too. But this time is going to be different. I'm going to finish, finish him. And last one for me. Uh, next week, there's the other half of the bracket, Darion Caldwell and AJ McKee. Um, who, who do you think walks away with the win in that one? Two monsters, but I believe Caldwell is going to win. He's going to smash AJ McKee. But if AJ McKee is win the fight, no problem. I am happy too. Thanks, Jim. Thank you. Great. Hey, thanks very much. And uh, Patricio, congratulations on the uh, win tonight. Um, I want to ask, first of all, I mean, you mentioned the timing. I assume you want to go again quick. The way things are going, it, it might be maybe January, early 2021. And then I know Scott Coker mentioned even possibly spring for the finale. Are you hopeful they can fast track that and get this done a little sooner? Uh, now, I, I think I, I, it's better for everyone to finish this group period. You know, so it's a long time waiting for that. And just one more for me. Um, 
Do you have a plan for the lightweight title at this point? Because as it stands, it's been over a year since it was defended. Are you hopeful that you'll go back up after the uh, Grand Prix? I, I really don't know now. I need to talk with my boss. All right, congrats again. Obrigado. Keith? Hey, football. It's Keith Schilling from Sure Dog. Uh, my first question for you is, it was 14 months ago when you were announced that you wanted to fight Pedro and that match was booked. How much of a relief it is to, you know, finally get past that as, as the fight was booked twice and you've been training for the same guy for so long? Pedro is a, is a fighter from SBG. I like his team. They are very aggressive. Very technical, and he's a uh, new blood. So, I just want to do that fight. Uh, Pitbull, you just mentioned SBG. Obviously, they have another extremely famous fighter from SBG. Your coach spoke with me uh, in the lobby of Bohemian Sun a couple weeks ago, saying that that his dream fight would be you and and McGregor. Uh, is that your dream fight? Oh, it's, it can be in a uh, cross promotion. I don't know. Uh, it's, it's depend on me, not about me. Congratulations, football. Thank you. Sean. Yeah, football, congratulations on the big victory. Uh, you know, talk about, you know, obviously not only getting uh, the big knockout, you know, but making a statement to the rest of the division. Uh, knowing that you have an opponent, you know, coming up as well, Manuel Sanchez, and, you know, everything is, you know, going to be fast track for you to get the opportunity to fight again and hopefully no more delays. A Sanchez é um lutador que eu enfrentei há um tempo atrás. Israel fez a luta muito dura contra ele. Ele pareceu o cara com o mesmo jogo, porém mais à vontade, imaginando. Parecia que estava sabendo o que fazer dentro do ringue a todo momento. E eu estou feliz em enfrentá-lo novamente. A luta foi muito dura, mas dessa vez eu pretendo finalizá-lo. Yeah, you know, it's been. Uh, I've fought Emmanuel Sanchez already in Israel, uh, and we're ready to fight him again. This time it will be different. This time we're going to finish him. Donna. Hey, uh, how's it going, lads? Uh, congratulations on a great victory. Uh, <laughs> but I would imagine that the SBG rivalry is far from finished. Yes, my, my brother is going to fight Pete Dequilly. I can't wait for that. Is that true? Is that definitely going to happen? Sorry, say it again. Oh, yes, Bellator is going to do that. I know it. Is there any chance you fight Peter Quealy for uh, for your lightweight belt in a couple of maybe about a year's time? No, my brother has my more victory than him. He has only two fights in Bellator. All right, last one for me. I want to say, Eric, yesterday was Veterans Day. Thank you for your service. Thank you. Thank you, Don. Kevin. Hey, Patricia. Congratulations on a not a fantastic Thanks. knockout. Uh, two questions from me is, uh, can you give us possibly an update on your brother and how he's feeling? Uh, now he's recovering for his, his problem. He's a little dizzy yet, but as soon as possible, he's going to come back. All right. So final question for me, you know, a rising prospect in Aaron Pico just fought in this card. You know, he's been touted as one of the top featherweights in the division. Uh, so what is your message to him as you won tonight? I, I like his style. He has, a, he has a good wrestling, good boxing. He uh, looks like complete. But keep winning. Simon? Hey, Patricio, congratulations on the win. I just want to ask you here, out of all the men competing in this uh, featherweight tournament, 
who excites you the most uh, at the end of the day? Uh, I, I really don't know. I, everyone from this GP is, is very tough and very good. Couple more, couple more here, guys. Santiago. Boa noite, Patricio. Parabéns. Boa noite, obrigado. During the weighings yesterday, things got pretty heated between you and Pedro. Did this fuel your energy for this beautiful performance? Yes, uh, Pedro. <coughs> Sorry. Um, sorry, Pedro was very emotional in that moment, but I keep my, my mind clean and I just was thinking about the strategy to do against him during the fight. That's it. Last year, your coach, Eric Leberstein, was not the coach of the year while he had not one but two double champions in his gym. Did this surprise you? Is it for me, Brose? For you, if you could have been surprised that your trainer had four or five years. I believe he, he doesn't need that uh, uh, award. No, you don't need someone to say that you are you are the best the best coach of the year we, we don't know we don't need the, the media to tell me that i know that enjoy the victory sir thank you all right thank you very much patricio congratulations thank you shells.com works from heavy thank you everybody for joining us tonight